Hi and welcome to the second part of our installation of Arco Linux Open Box. Everything is just fine, everything else already working, but there is a small part in here in Arco Open Box that's a little bit more personal. So you just check out if you want that or not. What's in here? What's in here is things that, um, well, cost me time. And when things cost time, you make scripts. So install the personal folders here inside we have elements that we always need like the hidden folders let's take a look like the folders uh, dot teams dot fonts um, dot icons those are folders that we want to have on each yes on each um, desktop environment so that's what i do so i create these and um, that's that in the meantime, I also created documents, downloads, music, all these uh, normal um, elements with the same code. If it was not there, it is now there. Just the safety. And then the personal bookmarks. Oh, yes. I definitely do not want to make them one by one again. And here we, there we are. Uh, install personal bookmarks version 1. I am a bit surprised that that's the only thing that is because now I remember... Um, I've made the decision to just make give you these two. Why this these two? Because etc scale control H is plenty of stuff. If you press control H, you have to know when you're working on Arch Linux that the etc scale is your um, theming, tweaking, configuration folder. If we change anything, if we improve stuff, it's going to be in here. Not always, but often when a configuration like for instance let's go inside if we change something for neofetch it's going to be here if we change something for ne nitrogen it's going to be in there if we're going to change something in open box it's here etc etc so yes we will update stuff in here so that's why we put this bookmark and temp folder is just a temporary folder but sometimes we do need to take a look in here and see what's going to be built, what's going to be updated. You can see um, what's going on when you install stuff. Yahoo, Trison, it's all going to be happening in here. So you can follow along what's happening or uh, when it's not going uh, well, you can figure out where it goes wrong. So that's that. Um, let's go back in here so that's 200 and 300 we are going to fix the unreadable text in Firefox but before I do that we need to run Firefox when we run it for the first time it's gonna make a nice little folder and this script here is going to put a small CSS trick mm -hmm. in there so that we can see our letters or font in uh, dark themes ZSH is um, a an other kind of um, terminal. So bash, we have bash and my terminal uh, language, bash and ZSH. The reason why it's there, because we can theme it a lot. We have lots of um, colors in there, but I'm not going to install this one. And this is for guys who have um, maybe issues with their hardware. They can install the LTS or long time support kernel and see if that improves things or get back to mm -hmm. the normal kernel, the latest kernel and run this one. So that's all it is uh, today. We have um, deleted uh, many things from the past. So stick to the es essence and this is what's left. So you decide what you install from this personal folder. Enjoy. <laughs> 